Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Looks so calm and cool out there on the ocean. I know a lot of people are finding re relief at the coast. Relief at the coast. That's where all the sunshine's been. And then you look towards the east and you see these towering clouds mm -hmm. and the cumulus clouds building up and it's been stormy. Mm -hmm. So quite a contrast <laughs> as we've gone into Just the past couple miles, days. Yeah. yeah, and well, it's in store for tomorrow too. So we're still talking about that monsoonal moisture holding on to it just for another day with the chances for showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours for the East County. But we're breaking away from that by this weekend. Taking a look at temperatures outside. Well, we're still a little on the warm side, especially for 1115 at night. 78 degrees for Escondido. Ramon is at 77. Alpine, the same 79. El Cajon, Inland Valley, your overnight lows will be into the upper, excuse me, into the uh, low 70s. Upper 60s will be right along the coast. Right now we have a temperature of 75 degrees for Carlsbad, 70s also and 60s for the mountains and still holding on to some heat in the desert at 86 degrees. Dew points are high. We're into the 60s for the most part and with the legend you can see that we still have a saturated moist atmosphere and that will continue to stick around for tomorrow. So you can feel it when you step outside that added humidity and it will linger by the afternoon hours with the heating of the day that will lead to scattered showers and thunderstorms once again favoring the East County as well as the mountains for the most part. Earlier today we had 145 lightning strikes, cloud to ground ones, and that's 112 more than yesterday. So we had a lot of activity over the mountains, and now we're breaking away from that. It was the heating of the day that gave way to it, and also some flash flood concerns, as well as some severe thunderstorms. We are seeing a few isolated showers right now near Hamul, also Ramona, and the same for Palomar Mountain. For tomorrow, that activity will build into the afternoon hours. Still looking at chances for showers, really favoring the mountains and a few showers in the desert before everything kind of breaks apart going into the rest of the night because of the heating of the day really diminishing. We have high pressure still in firm control of the four corners, tapping into that moisture, continuing to send it in our direction. It's not until this weekend that we will get a break from the moisture, and we're not talking about a chance for showers and thunderstorms. We're actually talking about onshore flow because that high pressure system moving towards the south will prompt that west of the mountain. So temperatures straying away from the 80s back into the 70s, but it's not until next week will be seasonal, excuse me, for the coast. Inland valleys into the 90s over the next couple days, but temperatures on the downgrade and then back into the 80s as we hit the middle of the week. But because of the close proximity of that area of high pressure, a warm-up is in store, adding insult to injury for the mountains in the desert. Mm -hmm. One teen's returning to the desert this weekend. It's going to stay hot. Yes, it is. No, no breaks, Kevin. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Carly. You're welcome.